Hello, Francis. Uh, pretty quick fight, but is that how you saw it going down? No, I mean, uh, I can't say I, I saw it go, uh, go down like this, you know, but I was very calm and very confident about this fight. So I, I didn't know how it's going to uh, end up, but I was going there to, I was about to leave, uh, go out there with the victory. You mentioned before this fight the importance of staying relaxed and having fun in there. And when you walked in there, you seemed to be having fun. I mean, he, he came out and pointed at the center of the cage, and you did a, a finger wag back at him. It seemed like you were pretty relaxed. Yes, because I, I, I know his game. I know everything about his game. You know, I know how he works. I know how he works on his mental game, about he work on his uh, striking, his strategy and everything. And uh, yes, he was about to change tonight. Afterwards, it seems like you had a kind of an extended conversation through the, the fence there with Dana White. What were you saying? No, I was uh, just telling him that um, I need some credit. <laughs> yes, I need the title shot because uh, that's what, that the only things who, the only thing will make sense right now for me. Yes, and uh, he said, we're gonna talk about it, but I, I assume that mean yes. <laughs> well, lastly, at least for me, it seems like obviously what everybody already knows about you is that you have great punching power and that you can put people down with a shot. The thing that people are still wondering about is the wrestling ability. I mean, either if it's DC or Stipe who ends up with the title, both those guys know their way around a takedown. Uh, how do you convince people like, hey, I, I can make it a different fight the next time against a wrestler? I don't need to convince people. I just got to go, go out there fight. Uh, how do I convince people that are going to be junior tonight? The the only thing that convinced him was the convinced people was the result. Francis, here in the back, uh, we talked the other day about a scenario in which you would win, and then hope that you're next in line for a title shot. But what would happen if there was an injury in that title fight, or if? DC wins and he decides he doesn't want to fight you. I mean, what do you do at that point? Do you sit back and, and just wait and hope that, that Dana says, too bad, DC, you're going to fight Francis? Or would you take another fight? Uh, that's not a question that I have to answer. I don't decide what happened for the title shot. Do I deserve the title shot or not? I think uh, the answer is yes. Then what happened or somebody get injury, I don't know. I just want that uh, they give me the title shot. Uh, the title contract and then we have time to prepare and put in all together and if DC uh, wins and decide to retire I mean the uh, uh, the division will not stay without champion they still have to do uh, f figure out something and uh, I will be uh, head head of the in the line so I'm not concerned about that what do you think is different for you the last three fights compared to the to the two that you lost in a row? Uh, the difference for this last three fight was um, maybe me having fun, find myself, uh, because after my two losses, I tried to figure out uh, why I was doing this, you know. Then I realized that at the beginning, I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to do MMA. I didn't uh, expect to do uh, a professional career in MMA. But uh, since I was having fun training, I'm like, okay, let's do it. It's fun, you know? So that's why he started. Then at some point, uh, I kind of uh, forgot that. So in the last three fight, I put that in the line and trying to focus on it. So it's just for have fun, you know? Everything could happen in the fight. It's not bad, it's how the sport is, I mean, obviously I didn't grow, I didn't uh, grow up with the sport education, with competition, but um, I have to figure out, I have to understand that that's how it works. The most important is to go there and uh, do what you ha you're gonna do and give it all. Um, because they are nothing really frustrated and painful than uh, get out in the octagon and feel like you didn't give it all. I think that's the biggest loss ever. Francis, JDS wanted to move. You know this. How badly do you think those leg kicks early on slowed him down? Um, 
I, I could feel it. I could feel that the the low kick the low kick landed, but uh, I didn't expect that one low kick would slow him down. I was expect uh, to throw uh, to throw some some few one to really slow him down so we could uh, we could strike. But um, I mean, he he worked differently. We're in Minnesota. Your walkout music, Drake. Why not Prince? Why not a tribute to him? Uh, you know, the the Drake was the meaning of the 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 meaning of the song, the lyrics. That's what uh, why I put the music. Are you going to be asking Dana White to headline a pay per view card in Africa? Uh, I'm. I don't. I don't think I have it right for that. But I think I have a right to ask the UFC, uh, even in Africa. We, we, we African fighter, we deserve it. I mean, uh, now we are nine. It's nine of us and uh, two champions, uh, soon to be three. And uh, it's time to consider that fact. Francis back here. Um, this time last July, you were in a very different spot. You've won three since then, all first round KOs. Could you have bounced back from that rough patch last year in any better, any better way than you did? Could I do what? Could you have bounced back from those two losses any better way than you did with the three quick KOs? Um, you tell me. I don't know if I could bounce back uh, better than that, but... Uh, I think um, things, is, things are, are going pretty well after that. What are the chances, uh, or, or would you rather fight DC or Stipe for the heavyweight title? Who would you uh, rather fight? I don't really care because uh, both of them uh, is good fight for me. Stipe is a double champ and uh, uh, Stipe is a ch um, my rematch that I want to do, and DC is a double champ, so and he's almost about to retire, according to what he said, and uh, how either fight will be good for me. John Jones has talked about moving up in weight for a very long time. If he beats Thiago Santos next week, what do you think the chances are of him moving up for his next fight? Uh, the chance, all the chances, up to him. I mean, if he decide uh, today to go to, to move to the heavyweight, he's going to move to the heavyweight. So I don't think uh, he has uh, a problem going to the heavyweight. Hi, Francis. Congratulations. Um, I noticed along with Coach Dewey Cooper and Eric Nixick, UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman was also in your corner. I just wanted to know uh, when you decided that you wanted to have him corner you as well. Uh, so in case you might not know, uh, Dewey has cornered me uh, before, since uh, two years ago when I uh, moved in Vegas, I've been working with him. And, yes. Uh, everything be, uh, was pretty good. I like work with him. And then uh, Usman is my, uh, is my brother from another mother. So um, as I said before, um, the most important thing was for me to be in the, uh, to build a, a good team around me who can provide a good vibe and uh, that's also why I have uh, my care, uh, my manager in my corner and Eric. So there was other people that could bring the energy that I want to because I honestly believe that um, the most important thing in this sport is the, uh, I mean, is the emotional way, you know, so you have to be in the good spot and uh, that's a very important part of the training and also of the fight. Thank you. Francis, uh, since you didn't get the confirmation that your next fight is going to be for the title, you're asking the UFC and Dana for respect. Um, are you thinking about going to Anaheim and being there for the fight, sitting cage side and watch those two, two men fight for the title? I don't think go to Anaheim, uh, to Anaheim sit to the cage side is going to change something. It's going to uh, uh, look like some uh, cow, KO that I have done. I don't think uh, at this point I still have to, uh, to claim the title shot. I think it's obvious. I think I deserve it. And uh, I don't think uh, Anaheim uh, thinks uh, 
would do has to nothing to do with it. If I like to go to that fight because I uh, I believe that they're gonna be in a good fight there to watch because I want to have fun, I will go there. But I don't expect like to to make that change the decision. And also, they didn't give the confirmation. I mean, the, this we just finished this fight. I think also even the UFC will take time to figure out how to put things together and to give their own uh, opinion.